I'm joined here now at the gathering meeting in Castlebany and Monaghan by Willie McKenna. Willie, you were here tonight and you had some great ideas that you mentioned to us earlier on. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about them. Yeah, we had a number of ideas. Matter of fact, each table came up with 15 ideas. And out of the 15 ideas, each table picked three ideas. And uh, we picked the Clan McKenna International Rally because we uh, are very international insofar as our last gathering was in Chile. The previous one was in the city of the Mirror Machine, New Brunswick in Canada. So this year it will happen in Monaghan in Ireland. So we have a very wide uh, uh, personnel right across the world, it seems. Yeah. Great. But uh, there's a lot of great ideas come up there tonight. There's a fishing festival mansion, the country music uh, festival mansion, and that's something new for Monaghan because Monaghan, as you know, is really the home of country music. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And of course, you had the great idea as well of, I think, the first table said about the gathering all the Patricks from around the world for St. Patrick's Day back to Monaghan that would be a wonderful day yes yeah. Yeah, St. Patrick's Day was the biggest single social event of the year in Ireland and Monaghan has a very big St. Patrick's Day parade as a matter of fact this year when you did mention St. Patrick's Day parade we have a party of 40 of a rugby club coming from Canada the very first time for a rugby club to come into Ireland uh, and they come to Monaghan and stay in there for eight nights Great. and what happens with your idea now how does it progress uh, I understand uh, there's, a, the, 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 there's a county coordinating committee and they will go through all the ideas that were put forward here tonight and they would select what they think is the most suitable and the best for the development of the gathering in County Monaghan. Great, okay, well thanks very much Willie and the best of luck with your with your gathering. Thank you very much. And I'm joined now by Sister Saline at the gathering meeting here in Castle Blaney. Would you like to say a few words? I will indeed, yes. Um, my name is Celine McCardle. I'm a Mercy Sister. I'm also a Director and Chairperson of the Castle Blaney Arts and Community Resource Centre, which is based in the Inthus Centre in Castle Blaney. Uh, oh, in that centre, we have um, a, a very interesting group which would, could be coordinated with this gathering, which is the International, Blaney Blades International, and it has brought people together from Lithuania, Latvia, um, Estonia, and the Czech Republic, and Russia. And we also have drama festivals there, arts and community um, uh, festivals, um, uh, childcare, various other things that, that bring people to this. We also have a connection with America, with England, uh, with uh, groups of people who who have come and visited uh, right across the whole country to see the centre that we have there. And uh, we are very excited about getting involved in this gathering and in organising some events in, in the Inter Centre. Great. And you were happy with how the meeting went tonight? I think it was excellent. There was a great buzz, there was great excitement, some marvellous ideas. I think if they could all or even uh, one-tenth of them be put into operation, that we would have a very vibrant gathering in County Mana. Great. OK, thank you, Sister Celine. And I'm joined now here with Paddy Gologley. Paddy, how did you think the meeting went tonight? Uh, fabulous. I think it was well, uh, well presented and the way it was uh, done, it was very do, do, done very professionally and everyone got a bite of the cherry, as great, such, you know. Great. And I think it should go well throughout the county, you know. We're, we're organising a Twins Parade in Carrick Macross. We've, we've run the Twins Parade in conjunction with the Lions Club and the Carrick Macross Festival the, for the last two years. We didn't run it this year, we give it a big gap. Yeah, we'll go, we hope to take it on for 2013. And it's basically, uh, what we've, we've extended it last year to uh, Twins Plus, which means uh, Twins and Multiple Births. And we had a fantastic crowd uh, the, the years we ran it. First year we had 232 sets of Twins, and uh, last year we had 252 sets. So we're hoping to increase it this year. Now, you, you may say to yourself, that's not very many people, but it is. And then you double that, is that, you know, double that, and you have all the... Uh, uh, when you get an event with children being involved, along with adults, we had adult twins and uh, with the, the, we had twins at, from the age of 25 days to twins at the age of 89 years of age. Great. And do they come from all over the world, Paddy? Yes, we had uh, various people, from, mostly from Ireland. We had people from Wales and England and we had Spanish twins and we had American twins as well. And we, we, we feel that but when you have children involved in something, you multiply the crowd. We had about uh, 10,000 people in the town that day to watch out. Now we run in conjunction with the festival which means slideshows as well. You know, you just can't have a parade up the street and that's it. So everyone had something to do and that's most important when you run a festival that you have lots of things to do for uh, for everybody involved. So we hope that we get plenty, it's important that we get plenty of publicity so that people know about it and to do. Now Twins is very hard to organise because you, it's not like running um, you know, uh, as what they did in Castle Bay in here where everyone can be uh, what do you call it? 
dress up in here and all that. You have to have, I, I'm a twin myself, and it's no good me going to the show unless my, my brother goes. You're twin. Is that where the idea came from? Because you're a twin yourself. Yes, I was trying to get this thing going for years, and uh, we started the Lions Club uh, four years ago in Carrick Macross, and I was present, and I'm back present again this year, and I pushed them to do it, and they did it, and thanks to God, it was a great success. Great. And will it be all over Monaghan or just Carrick Macross? Carrick Macross, yeah, in Carrick Macross in, in conjunction with the festival. And as I said, that's the reason why you're on it with the festival, so they have little side shows. But it's a magic feeling to see all. All these twins, little ones, this side, all dressed the same and uh, push chairs galore walking up and down the street. Yeah, and then yeah. la- last year was really magic, but then you'd see uh, a lady with three three children in a push chair. They were triplets and we had quads as well. Great, yeah. great. Well, the very best of luck, Paddy, with the twin idea. It's a yeah. great idea. Thanks, Paddy. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm joined now in uh, the Glen Cairn by Tommy McCardle, all the way from Drumhowen. Yeah. So, Tommy, how did you find the meeting tonight? Well, I found it by coming into the Glen Car. <laughs> in through that door there. Good man yourself. <laughs> and how did you find the rest of it? It was great. I thought it was really inspiring, you know what I mean? And great ideas were come up with. I'd say, like, an awful lot of ideas fell by the wayside in sort of selecting into them, you know what I mean? But I think that what they're going to do is collate all the ideas that came up. And I'd say there will be ones there, like, that didn't get currency, but that just could be a spark for something else and I think that the idea of circulating them all is really good you know and did you have any ideas in particular in mind well, I wouldn't tell my ideas tell you. no you're not going to broadcast them <laughs> no, 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 my idea was like I'm interested it was it was to do with the Duffy clan you know what I mean like because everyone in our locality half the population are Duffies right. you know what I mean like so I thought of a, maybe a rugby match between the Duffies and the McKenna's you know what I mean like so that was what I was doing and there'd be plenty to feel the team <laughs> that would be multi-sex uh, there'd be men women and gay lesbians oh, and the whole lot very good very good that's great Tommy Thanks very much. And I'm joined now by Aidan Campbell, who's the Lord Mayor of Castle Blaney. Um, so, Aidan, how did you find the meeting? Any good ideas? Yeah, I think the meeting was great. It was very positive. There was great atmosphere right from the gun there, from the from the uh, from we kicked off. I was talking to some of the facilitators there, and they said they've been around ten different counties, and that they felt this one took off the fast. Maybe they're only seeing that, but I think the atmosphere in the room. Uh, it was electric tonight there, so all the ideas that come up tonight, so uh, uh, hopefully something will come out of all those ideas. Right, okay, and have you any idea in mind? What was the idea from your table? Well, our idea was something around the Big Tom Festival, bring back people to Casa Blaney. So uh, another couple of groups had different, similar or, or similar ideas than ours, so maybe we could link in with them and have something like that. The fact that Big Tom's from Casa Blaney here, and he attracts... A big crowd when he's here, and there's a big uh, population there that supports him. maybe something to build around that weekend. Great, and I'm sure because you're the Lord Mayor here in Casa Blaney, you have lots of overseas contacts as well that you'll be able to tap into to try and get them back to Monaghan. Uh, well, I don't know about uh, all the, the, the contacts overseas, but I have some family overseas, and I would like to think they come home some stage next year, because in Casa Blaney we organise the Mucknamania Festival every year as well in July, and there could be an opportunity maybe to bring in the gathering in the, into that weekend, because it was on two weekends ago, very successful successful weekend in itself so maybe this is something that we could piggyback on top for next year great okay well the best of luck with it right thanks very much and thank, thank you. you okay thank you and i have amelda ray with me now who's the head of engagement with the gathering amelda how did the meeting go it was a lovely lovely meeting actually we had a great turnout number one and on such a lovely evening like this uh, it was great to see so many people in the room and it was great ideas uh, so i think there was a great laughter and buzz in the room and great ideas so delighted with the meeting okay and you're delighted with the turnout delighted with the turnout great numbers i think of all the meetings we've been averaging about 150 to 170 people and okay. t- tonight was no exception great and maybe you can just give us a rough idea of the the different ideas that came out of tonight's meeting um, God, I have some great ideas. I'm trying to think of them all now. But there was ideas uh, involving fishing, because I know fishing is a big uh, feature of, of County Monaghan. Mm. And there's 52 lakes as well. So there's an idea as well of having uh, um, fishing on a different lake every county. There was ideas around clan gatherings and family gatherings. Uh, I think the St. Ide- Patrick's one was good. A lovely one, yeah. obviously, with St. Patrick yeah. and the connection to, to Monaghan. So that was a lovely one. So anybody called Patrick, inviting them home on St. Patrick's Day, and they get a prize, whatever else. So really, really lovely idea. Yeah, and the bride's one was a good one as well. <laughs> They're going to try and break the world record for the biggest number of brides in one place, I believe. The only thing I'm a bit worried about is I have I have dust off my old my own wedding dress. I'm like, no, don't get me in. But uh, yeah, no, really, really great ideas, imaginative. And what's great about the ideas as well is they're all very doable, mm. and they all and you can see that 
there is a connection there and people would for many of these ideas people would travel you know so they're all very rel relevant and really doable as well so what happens now Melda? where do the ideas go from here well, in every county, so in Monaghan, say for instance, there's a gathering coordinator and there's a, a gathering steering group. So together with the steering group then, they take all the ideas from tonight, they form a bit of a plan, a bit of an action plan. So they start seeing, grouping the ideas, what ideas came up, and whatever, the similar ideas, grouping them. And then what they do is then they pick maybe a couple of ideas that are going to formulate the main ideas of the county. And then they then follow up together with us, they, we sort of nearly act as a sales team, and we sort of follow up with everybody, say now make sure you get your idea confirmed, get it pledged online or whatever else. So it's just really now, it's the big challenge of this whole project is getting there's great ideas there's great interest but it's converting that into actual confirmed gatherings which is an awful lot of work and it's mostly volunteers isn't it it is absolutely yeah okay. all right thanks very much Imelda thank you And I'm joined now by the Managing Director of the lovely Glencar Hotel here in Castle Blaney, Mr Patrick McFadden. How are you, Angie? How did you think the meeting went? I thought it was extremely su successful. A lot of effort had been put into it. Uh, the numbers were very, very good. The ideas were brilliant. And uh, the buzz that was in the room, it, 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 it was a rare commodity to find nowadays. And people being enthusiastic about an absolutely wonderful event and the initiative of the gathering for 2013. Right. I think it's fantastic. Right. And as I said, a nice evening here in Monaghan, so a good turnout even on a good evening, which is great. Good turnout, and as I said again, the, 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 the buzz and the ideas and um, the fact that the gathering is, is uh, so is, is going to be sort of countrywide and it's a national event and it's crossing all divides and all the religious divides and everything else. It's, it's, I'm really looking forward to it and I hope that everybody, including ourselves, will have a spin of it in, in 2013. Great, and of course you have a lovely facility here as well and you're on the main Dublin Derry uh, Road, so... Uh, hopefully a lot of business coming your way as well from it. Working hard all the time on it and um, we are, uh, we're, in, uh, we're, we're only 50 minutes from Dublin, Dublin Airport, 35 minutes from Belfast and uh, we're in a good location and I was emphasising uh, my idea that we have 52 lakes in Monaghan and uh, that each week next year should be named in County Monaghan after one of the lakes and build whatever sort of festival. It doesn't necessarily have to be everybody waiting for June and July. Uh, we, something can happen every weekend. There are so many family names in Monaghan and if two or three families are grouped together and have something on a weekend, it doesn't necessarily have to be anything huge. It can be in a local hall, a local pub or the local hotel, whatever. Uh, but uh, the, 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 the base is set. Uh, it's, it's up to people to get off the backside now and really get behind this. Uh, it, has, it has the potential to be something huge mm -hmm. for Ireland, mm -hmm. uh, North and South, mm -hmm. for 2013. Great. Thanks very much, Patrick. Very I wish you the best with it. I'm joined now by John Toland, who's Cavan Monaghan leader, and you're also on the steering committee here, John. So what's your involvement in the gathering? Well, basically, we're invited onto the steering committee by the local authority, Monaghan County Council, and uh, really, we're maybe put provide some guidance because we've been involved with festival events throughout the Cavan and Monaghan area and um, we want to see perhaps we can provide training supports, uh, uh, assistance to people getting involved with the gathering and you know if it's new to them to be involved with organising an event we can provide supports through training and potentially through funding in the future as well for their actual events. And were you happy with the turnout tonight and the ideas that came out of it? I have to admit, there was a lot more people here than I anticipated because it's such a warm, lovely evening yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, it's great to see so many people and a lot of great ideas. So hopefully they'll be Any ideas um, catch your eye? Um, I, I or were they all good? Well, I suppose they were all good. I suppose the clan gatherings has been rolled out quite a lot from this. So and. Uh, um, I suppose and all the, the Patricks for St. Patrick's Day, I thought that was a particularly good one. Well, for me covering actually Cavan and Monon, we've had the Paddy Rileys and Monon come up at the gathering meeting there, so we had the Patricks and for Patrick's Day, so yeah. Great, okay John, thanks for joining us. Alright, thank you very much indeed. Thanks. I'm joined now by um, the Monon County Manager, David Fallon. David, how did you think the meeting went tonight? Look, I was very impressed the way people have got engaged with it, the enthusiasm they had. I mean, there was a multitude of ideas, and, and, uh, and people so, were so enthusiastic about it. Uh, 
there were events that were, we, we thought we, we couldn't coordinate at all. We thought it couldn't be included, but everybody was so inclusive, thought their event could do it. They were coming up with new events or just going with old events that they, that they could coordinate and liaise with other people. So I think it went very well from that okay. point of view. And I suppose from a county point of view, it's going to be a great boost for County Monaghan next year. Oh, we see it as a great boost, like all the events that will be here. And I think we need some, some lift across the country for this type of thing, that, you know, people who do things for themselves, that's, that's a great way of Monaghan. Kevin and Monaghan people do that. It's the, the, the Mayfane attitude. They do it for themselves. They don't wait for anybody else to do it. And they're just up and ready to do it. So I, I, I appreciate that. The, the enthusiasm and the effort they're putting into it. Great. And I know that the council have a lot of involvement in helping groups now to organise different events. We have. We're going to coordinate this. Our coordinator do it. I'll, I'll be pushing forward as, as the steering group chairman. And our steering group is very enthusiastic. We want to do it. We, uh, we see enough of events we can help out on. Uh, it doesn't need enough of the money. It just needs people's enthusiasm. The sense of volunteerism and the help that people can do and give to each other is palpable. I think that we we would we'll harness that and we we'd be very successful from that point of view. Okay, so for anybody watching tonight who didn't get to the meeting tonight and they have more ideas, how do they go about getting those ideas heard now? First of all, if they know anybody in the steering committee mentions them, if they know anybody in our in our coordinating group or in, uh, our coordinator let us get the ideas right into me right into me right into our, our just at info at Monaghan County Council or just right into Monaghan County Council we'll get them we'll coordinate them they don't have to worry about getting to the right person if they come to the council we'll make sure they get the right people great ok thanks very much David and the best of luck with it for next year thank you very much thank you I'm joined now by Catherine McGuigan who's uh, the age friendly Program Sorry. manager. Program manager, that's it. And you were also a facilitator here tonight, Catherine. How did you think it went? I thought it was a fantastic event. I thought we had an amazing turnout, which was great. I'm sure it coincided with other events, but to have that capacity in the room was great. There was a great spirit. It was really, really lively. Everybody was very, very passionate. And the ideas, I mean, they were absolutely brilliant. But what else do we expect? We're in Monaghan. So any ideas in particular that you liked? Well, I can tell you the one that came up at my table. The brides. Obviously the best. I mean, I don't know if you've talked about it before, but we were talking talking about bringing all the brides together. I mean, globally, we had thought at the beginning we would confine it to just brides who were married in Monaghan or brides that were from Monaghan, but we want to have, you know, all the brides and they dress in their original wedding attire so we can have people from in their 20s, 30s to the people in their 90s and if they don't have their original dress or they don't fit into it, they can bring a piece from their original wedding, bring their families, bring their friends. We will have a huge event around this with lots of activity and lots of fun and a prize ultimately at the end. We might even and do the world record for all the brides in one place together. So, oh, so what's your first step now towards that? Well, what we did was we appointed a person around the table. We have a great capacity for volunteers in this co in this county, and that came up tonight about what we love about Monaghan, our, our get-up-and-go attitude. So we had a lady from Bally Bay who was coming up with the good ideas and sort of said, oh, I didn't know I would be that good, or I didn't think I'd do it. And we empowered her. You take the lead role in this. She'll be contacted by the steering committee, and we're going to try and get her to pull the people together. And whether it's at national level or local level, we're going to bring everybody together. And we will make this happen. We will have the best great. event. I'm next sure you will, Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much and the best of luck with your bright idea. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Melda again, who's just going to talk to you about the next steps. Thank you. I know you must be all exhausted after so many great ideas. I think out of all the meetings we've been to, I haven't seen so much extra paper being requested. So you definitely must be tired. I promise you, I won't keep you too long at all, literally for two minutes. This is a really important part of the evening because... Um, after so many great ideas, it's just really important now that we don't lose the momentum. And um, so when everybody leaves the room tonight, I just hope that everybody's completely clear on who's doing what and what happens next. So that's what I'm going to talk to you about for the next couple of minutes. So I know there's a variation of different types of ideas here. Some things that you can do yourself, some things that you can do with your community and whatever else. But nobody is getting away scot-free. Everybody can do something. And so even if you haven't put your name down beside an idea, you still tomorrow can go home and do a few simple steps. So literally, tomorrow, go home and please make a list of all your contacts overseas. So everybody that you know overseas, make that list and then start inviting those people home. So literally email them, text them, send them a letter, whatever it takes. Just invite these people home and tell them about the gathering. <coughs> and then if you are organizing your own gathering, maybe if it's your own individual gathering, like a clan gathering or family gathering, Start thinking about the detail. When is it? Where is it? And whatever else, all the other detail. And please, please, please tell us about it. We need to know about your ideas. 
So go online to our website, thegatheringireland.com, or tell your gathering coordinator as well who will formulate all the ideas. Then just look for some of the other bigger, say, ideas, you know, particularly the ones that you're coming up with tonight. You know, I know a lot of you, um, I think, think bullied into it a little bit, uh, put your names that stand beside some of the ideas that you decided that you're going to progress yourself. So that's half the battle, that's really, really great. So you've decided now um, who's going to do it, but now decide on the rest of it in detail. When is it, what is it, what exactly you need to do. And also, when you, if you've heard some other ideas tonight that may be similar, join the dots, put some ideas together, and form some groups to progress these ideas. And then again, if you, uh, you need to tell us about it, or you need to tell us about it. So contact your coordinator and get these ideas going. And finally, just in terms of what happens next with your gathering coordinator and your gathering steering group. So as you said earlier on, your gathering coordinator and gathering steering group are here to help and they've got a really, really important role. So Dintna, now over the next, when she's back from her holidays, over the next couple of days, she's going to send you an email with a list of all the county contacts. And I know you've all been handed a sheet here tonight, so you know who's on your county steering group. So if you need to give them a shout, if you need help, they're there to help you. So um, give them a shout. And then over the next couple of days then, what's going to happen is, they're going to collate all of those top ideas and all the information, your names, who put their names beside the ideas, all the different details that you put down on those sheets. They're going to collate that and send it around to everybody. So again, you can see what everybody else is doing. And again, join up the dots. If you see another idea that's similar to yours, maybe join them together and work together as a, as a, as a team. And then finally, tell them about this again. But also, if you get stuck, please um, contact your coordinator or contact the steering group. So that's it from us. Thank you so much for coming here tonight. And we've had some great ideas. Next year is going to be a very, very special year. And we wish you all the success with all your own gatherings. So I think Tommy is just going to say the final few words of the night. Thanks a million. Uh, just to, to go back to where I started in a way, to remember, you know, the people that we want to come home, you know, make it attractive to them to come home, you know, and they're a very, very, very group. We talked about some very big events and some brilliant events. Think maybe of small events too, like um, I was, uh, the, the people, the lads that go are in Australia at the moment, what would bring them home, you know? Lads like Tommy Tiernan said, you know, when they get up, when they get up in the morning, you know, uh, they see the sun, and they say, oh Jesus, the sun, holidays, and then they start drinking, you know. So, 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 uh, so the, this is the, the the one extreme. On the other hand, there's another extreme that you know that, uh, deserve to be thought about in this, and those are the long-term people who have been a abroad. A few years ago, I was doing a television program on um, the Ashley Project in London. And uh, which is a, a project that brought people home from England. Men who had emigrated, old men who had emigrated in the 50s and had been left there, you know what I mean? And had no, no one to bring them home. The Ashley project just gathered up money, brought them home, just in many cases for the last visit home. You know, they made them. And I remember going over doing that program. And when I was there, the presenter was talking to the, to the people who were uh, in, the, in the hospital, as it was, in Cricketwood. And um, she was asking them where they're from. And uh, one, uh, one of them said, I'm from Monaghan. No, he says, where are you, what part of Monaghan are you from? I'm from Castle Bailey, he said. And I says, what's your name? And he told me his name, and I says, you're not from Castle Bailey. You're from, and I named the town land that he was from. And he, we just interviewed him that day, and he was uh, gone very alcoholic. And he was, showed us where he was sleeping in a car with another man, a burned out car, or a red car in Cricket Wood, you know. And he, he, uh, he said, I'm just going to drink and drink and drink. I'm just going to go for it, he said. And uh, sometime later I rang that, the, the, there was some talk at the Dashing Project and I rang one of the directors just for curiosity. And I said, how is Michael? I called him Michael, his name wasn't Michael. How is Michael? Michael's in a bad way, he says. And about two months afterwards, I heard that Michael had been brought home to be buried. And uh, I just, you know, the, there's, there's a, a, an element of this that, you know, we talk about festivals and bringing them home. Let's not think about it for, for, for just what they can bring home to us. Let's think about what we can bring to them. 
but we can give to them with the contact, with the reinforcement that we still value them. You know, old people, young people. I have children in my own abroad and who emigrated. I was talking today to one of my daughters about the loneliness of being in Pakistan and in the Philippines, you know, where you have a beautiful house and no company, you know, and that those people that want to come home, you know, how can we attract them home? And just keeping that contact with them. We value them, they value us. We'll enrich ourselves, each other, by that, by, by continued contact. And all these ideas are brilliant to sort of further the idea of valuable and valued contact with those, with the diaspora. Thanks very much.